Okay, here's how to play um, You Had Me at Hello by Day to Remember. I can't remember who requested this, so hopefully you find this video. So first pull up the tab in the description and I'm just going to go through each part. If anyone wants to see me play it, I could do a separate video and try to play it all the way through. Um, it's good to go all the way to the bottom of this tab where it says Song Outline and you can see the order of all the parts. So I'm just going to go straight down through the tab and play each part and kind of talk about some of the technique. So the first part is the intro and the harder part about this is definitely a left hand. So first thing you're going to do is in standard tuning, just put your first finger on 7 and put your pinky on 10 and you're going to go bar this, I think you get, you get a better sound if you do it like that. So. so this is on 7, this is on 10, so it's open string, 7, 10, open, 7, 10. So this, this is 0, 7, 10, 0, 7, 10, 0, 7, 8, 077, 077, and it goes back to that. So for that, I guess I will show the right hand also. Um, so it's on the D string. So what I'm doing is just going down. Down, down, up. Just gotta get fast at it, but just start slow. So just sort of start like this fast. I'm gonna start building up speed. It doesn't sound as good if I do a bar here. I don't know if you can hear that, it kind of gets like a little pull-off sound. So that's the intro. The next part is the verse. So make sure you have this tab. It's basically D, E minor, G chords. It's going to be like... slow. You can see, um, so this is a D major chord, but if you look at the tab, it has zero, zero on the A string as well, and I can't really hear that in the song, but you can always add that string, it sounds good, so. Then you add your pinky up here on the third fret, and you go to E minor. So this is actually E minor 7 when you do this, but I just consider it an E minor chord. And these fingers go here. So that's the second chord. Then you keep those top fingers down, you move these two fingers to make a G chord. You do that twice. Then you're going to go to D. Now here you can either do it like this, this next part you need to add two on the D string. Then you can add your pinky on four. Then you slide your pinky over. And then to G. So that's a little tricky. Um, that part, when I do it fast, I tend to go. What I just did there for that variation, where it's like, I'm what I like to do is bar, then use my pinky, and then go over there. I think it sounds best. So, so that's adding the zero, two, four, slide to five, all in the D string. 
So one more time, the verse, D, E minor, G, D sus2, um, so check this out, I'll do it real slow on this hard part. So here's the first chords again, it's D, E minor 7, G. This is D sus2, so I'm hitting the top string. And I'm barring. So I have 2, 2, and 3. I'm doing my pinky on 4. And I'm sliding over to there real quick, but it only happens for a second, and to G. If you want to see this hand, it's going to be like... So that's that part. The next part is pre-chorus. This part's pretty hard. Um, so definitely got to start it slow. This one I'm just going to show both hands. Um, if anyone wants me to do like an extra video on this, it's pretty tricky. So first thing, this is like a B minor chord, two, three, two. So you got a bar, that top note. And then you open up, you get the open A string. And then I use my thumb here on G. And G and then the D string. So. No. Next time, the next line. And then I use my thumb here. You hit that. So actually how was I doing this? I got I ended up not doing it with my thumb because it gets too clunky, so I move my middle finger down. So this part's pretty hard. I'm looking at the starting on the middle part on the second line of the pre-chorus. Whoops. So the second line sounds like this. It's the hardest one. goes like this. I'm going to try to play it fast real quick because I can't remember how I was doing this middle part. I remember if I do it fast. Yeah, you do use my thumb on the second line. Um, so this part's just hard. Just make sure you're looking at the tab. Make sure you can do this bar. Two, three, two. And then just start out really slow and work on the hardest part about this is definitely the second half of the second line. So, oops. To practice it full speed, I do it slow a bunch of times. Ah. Oops. What I keep messing up when I was practicing it and right now is the 3 3 2. So. Right there. Because the rhythm just kind of changes on this part. And sometimes I notice when, because this is a pretty fast part, it's, it's sometimes it's easy to hit the G string on accident, but I just wouldn't worry about it. So here's this part again, slow and then fast. Second line. Hard 
part. much easier to do with your thumb. And fast, it's like... So I messed up a little bit in there. But I haven't practiced it that much. I would just have to practice it slower some more. Um, it's definitely a tricky part of the song. The next part is the chorus. And you want to go... It's kind of like the verse. So it's going to start out with D sus 2. You're going to keep that down, then you're going to go to your middle finger on G. And to this chord, which is um, like a... Sort of like a B minor seven. Then... Now this guy when he tabbed it, this is a great tab, but he put some notes up on top. I wasn't following it exactly. You can see this where it says zero two zero two zero two three two zero, like in the middle of the chorus part. You can add some of those notes, I wasn't worried about it too much. So here's the chorus again from the beginning. <laughs> Um, so it's kind of like the verse, so one more time, D sus 2. You gotta add the G in the bass. You gotta do this chord. And this is the same thing as from the verse, the bar. Pinky. Slide. And then to G with open E on top. We can add some variations back to D sus 2. This is G, or that chord, this D with G in the bass. That's kind of tricky. If anyone has questions, let me know about that. The next part's the bridge, which is pretty easy. It's just make a power chord shape on seven and nine. And then you're gonna use the D string, but the first one is gonna start with your pinky on ten, but then we're gonna go to this one. So zero seven ten. Zero seven nine seven. And then you slide it down, zero five seven five, zero three five three. It's not too bad. Um, and I realize I'm just running out of time, so I'm going to have to do another part two. This is the end of this one.